it's Jasmine and welcome back to my Shop Miss A series. Today is day five and today we are working with the Violets Are Blue palette. Today I was really inspired by some of the cool tones in this palette. I kind of just let my mind take its wander with this look because I was truthfully really unsure of what I wanted to do today, but I'm really happy with the outcome. We did kind of like a 90s inspired look, but just a little bit more modern. So I hope you guys all enjoy this little twist and let's go ahead and get started. Today's palette of choice is the Violets Are Blue palette, and I genuinely feel like this concept is a little random to me. I understand the amount of blue to brown ratio. It's actually a ratio that I really enjoy. However, I, when I look at this palette, I'm just not 100% inspired, but today I wanna go ahead and try something a little bit different. I wanted to kind of do like a soft halo eye today, and I want to focus it around the blue tones. With the sky blue, I'm going to go back and forth into my crease and really smoke out and blow this color across the eyelid. I have kind of an idea of what I want to do, but at the same time in this tutorial, it's not as structured as the past tutorials because I kind of want to see like where I go with this look. I may or may not be playing with glitter today, who knows, but I am just letting my brush do the work for me. Now I am going to take the true blue shade and really go in a rainbow shape here. So I'm really following my natural crease, going from inner corner all the way to outer corner and just focusing on building the shade up. I'm gonna take more of the same blue on a smaller brush and I'm gonna go back and forth and just build this color until I get the intensity that I want to. Now with an even smaller blending brush, I am taking the indigo shade and applying it right into the crease, just a little bit tighter into the crease so that you see just a small line of depth instead of something super blown out and huge. Now in this step, I recommend just taking your time to build up the indigo because sometimes I feel like with some blue eyeshadow palettes, they are hard to work with, but so far these blues blend in really seamlessly with each other and they build up nicely. So with the shimmery icy blue, I'm going to apply that right in the center of my eyes just to give this a little bit of pop. And then with the brush that we use the true blue on, I'm going to go ahead and do that rainbow motion just to blend the edges in with each other. With my Shiseido Sumi Sky Eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and create a wing with this. This is a Kajal eyeliner, so it's going to glide on the eyes really soft and smooth. And while I'm here, I'm actually painting my lashes blue because today we are applying some blue lashes. Before we do that, I'm going to do my little eyeliner trick to make this eye look a little bit more crisp. I'm going to take some concealer and just run it all the way up like that. Drag it down, tap it out, and you honestly get the perfect wing every time. Today I'm deciding I want to do some colored lashes, so I took my Alter Ego Flare lashes and I was actually thinking of throwing these out so it was actually perfect to use up for this video. And I went ahead and took my Shop Missy Buttercream in the shade Cupcake and I took a flat concealer brush and I just used this shade all over the lash. And then I went ahead and set it in with the indigo eyeshadow that we used in our crease just so it can kind of match the look. And then to apply these, I'm using a clear lash glue just so it could blend in a little bit better. So I already painted my lashes with the Shiseido eyeliner, remember? Now I don't have any clear mascara, so I'm using an unused clear brow gel and I'm gonna take a disposable wand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dunk it right in and I'm going to kind of use this as clear mascara just to bind my lashes to the falsies. Also, this clear lash glue, the Revolution one that I used, um, it's water-based, so it doesn't quite stick as sticky as a lot of other adhesives, but it still works, and it still works with this look, especially with what we have going on. 
So because I was applying the lashes, I got a lot of fallout because I did set the lashes in place with a blue eyeshadow, which is fine. I kind of expected it. So I'm just going to dust it off as best as I can. We're gonna use just a little bit more of the Shiseido eyeliner on the lower lash line. I'm going pretty heavy handed with this because this is gonna be the base to other eyeshadow colors down here. Also, I'm trying to paint my lashes blue down there, so huh, the more heavy handed you go, the better. I'm taking this brush here, the one that we use with the indigo shade, and I'm not taking any additional color, but I'm gonna use this brush to just blend out the eyeshadow. And yes, it's gonna look crazy, but it's just going to help get the look that I'm looking for. There's a color in here that's a bit of a grayish blue, and I'm gonna take that and I'm going to look up and apply this right into the lash line. This is gonna help slightly darken it up a little bit more. And then using the same blue that I used in the center of my eye, I'm gonna heavily apply it into the inner corner and this is really going to brighten up the look. Also, let's take that into the brow bone, why not? I'm taking the initial sky blue on the big blending brush and I'm just going to smoke out this lower lash line. Originally, I wasn't going to do it, but I felt like something was missing. So I hope that this kind of gives me the effect that I'm looking for. I'm looking for like a sultry type vibe. Because we are already super iced out and cool, I decided to use the cool tone brown in the palette to just contour my face. Now, the main difference between contouring and bronzing is that contouring will add shadow and depth to the face. So if I'm looking straight ahead now, it kind of looks like my cheekbones are just a little bit more sunken in than if I had applied bronzer in the same areas. Using the lavender in the palette, I'm actually gonna use that as a blush today just so we could spice things up a little bit. For my highlight, I'm gonna use my Pow Lighter in the shade Cosmos, which is more of a peachy pink highlight, and I feel like this will blend in with the purple a little bit better. The purple eyeshadow on my cheeks kind of just make my cheeks look a little ashy, so I'm gonna go in with the Perfect Blush in the shade Dandy just to brighten things up a little bit. For today's lip combo, I'm combining the Shiseido Lip Liner Ink Duo in the shade Espresso to line my lips. And right on top, I'm using the Lime Crime Lip Blaze in the shade Cali. No one can stop us, no blah, blah. And just like that, you guys, we are completed with the look. Now this makeup look did not look good with my bangs. So I have my bangs tucked under like my long hair here, which is so funny to me. Um, but anyway, I wanna go ahead and give you guys another roundup review on this palette here. Now I find that the blues in this palette are actually really exceptional. I think the first time that I used it, I feel like I didn't really give it a chance to be quite honest with you. I've only used it once before actually maybe twice before and I just felt like mm, this palette is really not for me but as I continue using it I actually really like the blues in here I think the blues in this formulation are so amazing I love the way it built up I think that even with the three blues that I used um, which was these three they blended in with each other like butter like a dream and it's almost dare I say kind of like the Urban Decay electric palette if you are a person who likes cool tones, and this is definitely the palette for you, I personally am not gravitated to cool tones, and I feel like when I used uh, this shade down here for my contour, that was a little scary for me. I'm not gonna lie, that was uh, definitely a risk because whenever I contour my face or whenever I use anything cool tone on my face, it just looks so ashy because I am so yellow. I'm just on the opposite side of the spectrum, but I ended up kind of making it work. So actually what I didn't mention um, in the video, when I did take the 
perfect blush I actually took it over the contour just to warm it up a little bit it wasn't just the apple of my cheek it was like all over so that was another trick to actually help it not look as ashy so if you are like me and you're just super yellow and you just come across a contour shade that just doesn't really work out try that and you know I hope it helps you but honestly I definitely want to say that I did not like this palette at first but I think I am really enjoying it. I love the shimmer formula in this palette as well. I think it's very comparable to the last palette that I used, which was XOXO, where it's very buttery, soft, and smooth. Picks up easily with the finger and brush. And honestly, um, I just feel like I am really harsh on cool tone palettes simply because I just don't like cool tones, but I really need to have an open mind and to not be biased. So with that being said, this is definitely on my recommended list no matter if you like cool tones or not this palette in particular as a whole is a great palette the formula is really nice easy to build and you know what it's solid so I hope you guys all really enjoy this tutorial. The last two days, I saved my favorite palettes for last, so I am really excited to end this series on a positive foot. I am really, really happy with all of the looks I've done so far. I really thought I was really convinced that today was not gonna be a good day for my makeup, but <laughs> I'm really loving it and I'm really happy about it. So I hope you guys are loving the series as much as I do. And I hope that if you guys find anything that you like on the Shop Miss A website that you do consider using my affiliate link located in the description box below. It's always encouraged, it's never forced. As you guys know, you've heard it a million times already. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one. That was so rude. My camera cut off right before I said my outro. I was five seconds too late. But anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.